The builders say that it's man's ability to shape and create that sets him apart from the beasts. Order, hard work, and devotion are what make a true man. But all that doesn't pay the rent. Back when I was starting out in this racket, paying the rent was the only thing on my mind. I'd take work from just about any man who gave me coin, and my first client was a man just as desperate as I was. From his eyes, I could see that the road that led him to my doorstep had been a dark and desperate one. The man explained that he was a young noble. A year ago, he had joined his father on a trip to a bathhouse owned by one Lord Edgar. The place was lavish, and he was relaxing in one of the pools when suddenly he heard a blood-curdling scream echoing through the halls. Running into the sauna room, he found his father, dead and bloodied. The city watch worked hard to hush everything up. They hauled off one of the bathhouse servants and announced the next day that he'd confessed to everything. His head was chopped off before sundown. My client was sure that there was more to his father's murder, and in the following months he continued to visit the bathhouse. On the same day I met him, the man made his move. He hid in a closet as the bathhouse was closed up. His plan was to break into the manager's office, but it was there, crawling in the dark, that he heard another terrifying scream. It was the same sound he had heard all those months before, the sound of a murder. He fled the bathhouse and stumbled to my doorstep. He insisted that I go that very night, before anyone could cover up this new killing. It didn't sound very appealing, but the money in his purse convinced me otherwise. And so I find myself, in the middle of the night, heading out to Lord Edgar's bathhouse, wondering just what I might find inside. Well, hello. And welcome back to the Dark Mod. Yes! That was an intro, and it was a damn good one, if I don't say so myself. But yes, as alluded to, this is Lord Edgar's bathhouse. So we need to find out exactly what happened to this guy's father. And of course, we still need to make rent. As much rent as possible, because apparently our landlord always ups it. I must be a bit of a nuisance. All right, so Lord Edgar is a rich man. Yeah, we'll go uh, medium just in case. It's optional either way, but yeah. So our objectives are as follows. Break into the bathhouse and try to find evidence of the killer. In this unstable economy, it would be nice to have at least two months rent covered, steal 2,000 in gold, and get back to your house once you are done. Ah, so we're starting at our home, are we? This is going to be a city mission or mostly the bathhouse? Only one way to find out. Well, as you can see from the loading screen, this is a Goldwell mission. Goldwell makes some damn fine missions. Although I don't have my lantern right now or anything. I guess I'll have to pick everything up. Um, that's a pipe. Don't think I need a pipe. I got my own house key, that's good. Hmm. Instructions. The entrance to the bathhouse is too heavily guarded, but after doing some research, I found a house in town that's connected to the same air duct system they use in the bathhouse. You will find this home opposite the lo local locksmith. I don't know why I, I stumbled on local so hard. Take the key on the table here to get inside. Ah, so it's that house. I prefer that you do this job discreetly, but we don't live in a perfect world. So if you wish to have some equipment in case the situation gets sicky, there's a shop next to the Traveler's Rest, which seems to stock the type of gear that suits your needs. All right, nice. This nobleman knows what he's doing. And my coveted lockpicks. Now, that's one way to store some lockpicks. Uh, I would like to have a lantern, though. Do we have a lantern before we go out? There we go. Just like mommy likes. There we go. This is a shitty apartment. A and I'm having trouble making rent here? Seriously? Can't I just, like, blackmail the, uh... The Hello? Oh, I must have come off of that. Can't I just blackmail my landlord? Instead of, you know, paying rent. Alright. 
So we've got the streets. It's a big shadow over there. This is going to be dark enough. Oh boy. At least it looks like. You want to in here? Holler. It looks like, at the very least, there are handles on what we can pick or open, which makes things easier, so I'm not wasting my time. Come back this way, buddy. No? Well, just stick to the shadows, and they will protect me. Wow, you can already tell right away that there is some nice architectural design. Which honestly, it's what makes Thief great, is the architecture. It's very simple gameplay. Close until Sunday. Father Spencer was quite upset with the drunken guard. Hold up. Yes, yeah, what thought. Let's read that in a moment, shall we? I don't have a blackjack. I just now realized that. Shit. Hopefully he only goes too far. So far. Okay. Drunken guard who stomped on and destroyed the flowers in the church garden last night. Because of this, the church will be closed until Sunday. The flowers have been replanted, and now, hopefully, people can learn to stick to the footpath. May the Lord Builder watch over and protect you, Father Gallo. Well, damn, Father. I feel like I really want to stomp on some flowers now. No reason. Just want to stomp on some flowers. Evening. Um, actually, you know what? I don't know. Yeah, they don't like me. <laughs> Sorry, I had to test. Ah, the local inn. Well, I guess somebody passed out. Yeah. It doesn't have a handle. I can't go in. Ah, the tavern. It smells at night and in the morning. Mostly whenever it's open. Hi, Rat. How you doing? Are you a city guard? Local chemist over here. I'm assuming. All right. Well, uh, do we not have a map? We do not have a map. Shit. I mean, this is where I live, so I should know my way around. But uh, I'm also very dumb. Keeping warm over here, man. Ooh. Somebody left their window open. I love the summer nights. They afford so many opportunities. How you doing? Don't get up. Not on my account. Don't mind if I do. I'd look in your pot, but I don't want to make any noise, so a little bit a little bit of coin is good enough. Also, I don't think this is a cactus, by the way. You might want to get a cactus or something because that's, it's not a cactus. Something. Shoot. Well, did you not fully see me? You saw nothing. Continue along your way. When I find you, you'll regret it. Hopefully there's, well, screw this shit. I don't feel like waiting, so I won't. Yeah, I just didn't have enough time. Whoa, I would have thought there would have been a little bit of dark there, seeing as how I've been sticking to the shadows, but I guess not. Shit. Hello. Hey, 
pick it from here. Okay. <laughs> Can't pick it at all. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I have the, uh, I have the key. Hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of dust motes. Let's see here. On the instructions, some equipment in case the situation gets sticky. There's a shop next to the Traveler's Rest, which seems to stock the type of gear that suits your needs. So is that literally right across from here? Because the Traveler's Rest is right down there, down the street. No idea where this guy is. It's right down the street, and I didn't see any doors to get in, but then again, maybe there was a window to crawl through. Well, shit. I didn't go well. Man, they have a long view distance tonight, don't they? Normally, their peripheral isn't that good. Okay, so I'm assuming the Traveler's Rest would be... Right there. Set across from... Yeah, I don't think I can get into here? Question mark? Probably climb up here. Yeah, I can't get in there. Yeah. So maybe if I climb up on here, seriously? Huh. Well, I can't see what it is. Oh, well, you're a good shot and everything, but is this is the church. Ow, stop it. You guys suck. Get him. I'll cover you. Hmm. Ow. I it, I don't understand. Maybe there's a way in over here. What was that? No, then you shut up. Weird purple smoke coming out of the chemist shop. That's probably not good. Oh, wait, here's the traveler's rest. So, the chemist shop is right across from it, and so is this house. Hmm. It helps to read simple instructions, doesn't it? These rats are going crazy. You got cheese on your feet or something? Your feet made of cheese. You know what? what was that? Damn it. Hi. <laughs> it took him a while. At least the streets are pretty eh, nice. I got greedy. I don't know. Get in here. Is there. Oh, wait. And see this. There we go. So this is the shopkeep. Hopefully Cuddy won't mind if I take a few things. I'll pay him back, of course. Eventually. Can you take the holy water? Use Arius? But I want the holy water. At least have a blackjack. 
You don't have a blackjack, do you? Are you serious? Hmm. Got a short sword. You need to bash some... Mm. There we go. I knew you had one, Cuddy. You always have what I need. I'm just gonna... A little bit of spending money. A few odd jobs and... We should be... Okay, I can't stand up. I should be able to pay him back. Hopefully that's it, because it's all I can actually reach. There we go. I'm glad I came back. Bye, not Cuddy. Have a beautiful life. All right. Maybe I can get that arrow this time. How you doing? I'm going to follow you over there if you don't mind. What was that? Or not. Man, these guys are tuned up to 11. 12, maybe. What? What are you looking at? What made that sound? There was no sound. Ooh, yummy. Apple cores. My favorite. What made that sound? Uh, I, it, 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 uh. Oh my god, he turned around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And eh, now I won't lock it. Nobody knows I'm here. Alright. I could have just knocked him out, but yeah, why bother? So I wonder if the air ducts are up there. Um Okay. Back alley? Looks like a back alley. Why would I want to come back here? Why bother letting me come back here? Ah, it's up there. Okay. So what's up in the attic? Spookums? Are there spookums up in this attic? Oh, oh, there's a book on a stool. That's spooky. It's been so sad living in a world without a person who's always been a part of it. It's been so confusing seeing a person who you loved and who has loved you your whole life die in such a tragic way. It has been so infuriating to see a city watch cover up a murder without any care in the world. It has been so cold spending many sleepless nights laying in a bed wondering how the world continues on when so many injustices happen. It's been so strange knowing that the real killer has not stepped forward yet to confess his crimes. It has been so cowardly of me for not taking action sooner and avenging my father's death. But all of this will change tonight. Oh no. So I'm assuming the servant that got the axe was related to whoever used to live here. And now they're going to go get revenge, hopefully against the proper person. Because if it's our client, then, um, yeah, I, I don't think he did anything. I could be wrong. But, yeah, that would suck. I don't think there's much we can do about it. Well, I'm not going up there. Also, I hate this. A lot. Drop down there. What is that tone? Is there like a missing audio file or something? That's annoying. Why is there already a rope here? That's really cool, but what is? Okay. This place looks really cool. 
like really cool. I'm gonna take everything. Ah. Now this is the life. I could get used to this. This isn't the actual place where you take a bath, is it? Another flush. What? When will you learn, Ernest? What? What the tap are you doing here? I don't know. Where am I? I'm gonna, I'll be back. I might be able to knock him out. Shit. Hmm. Turn off the lights, but then again, like I just said, I can't knock him out, so let's go this way first. So the gods are playing poker. As far as I'm concerned, they can keep doing that. Changing room? Uh... I thought some time had passed, but no, apparently not. I don't think you'll be needing this anymore. Whoa, ow! I know they're hot, but it's not that hot. That's not how steam rooms steam rooms work. Ow! God damn it! The coals are hot, not what they're in. At least you'd think. I guess this is the changing room. Hmm. Yeah, they just locked the whole place down and blamed it on somebody else, and... What the fuck? You'd think they would have cleaned up by now. What the hell? Unless there's been another murder. Somehow I doubt it. There's a pumpkin back there. Why is there a pumpkin back here? Oh, sir, you guys saw that pumpkin, right? Delicious pumpkin. Mm. Also, I got a bloop for my efforts. Well, that's dinner sorted. Nothing like a delicious pumpkin soup. Uh, that's debatable. Well, the, okay. I thought there was going to be like a secret entrance there or something. Apparently not. All right, we need to get past the guards somehow. I'd rather not use any water arrows just yet. Actually, how many do I have? I have five. Yeah, I really don't want to use them yet. Another flush. When will you learn, Ernest? Damn it. Thought I had it that time. Yes, well, another years. I've done a full patrol round like I asked. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, you asked me to do a full patrol, but I didn't do that exactly. I modified it to be more efficient, and that's what I call a short patrol route. What do you mean, a short patrol route? It's like a full patrol, just shorter. Uh-huh. Hmm. Tell me, Ernest, is this uh, short patrol route of yours just another excuse for your incompetence? You know the Lord is paying us damn good money to protect his valuables. You've seen him get angry. He is not a man to be messed with. And if he finds out we've been slacking, he will hang our gondoliers from the chandeliers. Well, I checked everything up until the entrance. So you checked a few hallways. Well, let's hope if we have an unexpected visitor, he is stupid enough to stand under the light in a narrow hallway. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh. Uh. I don't think he gets it. Well, that was great. How do we sneak in without him seeing us? Shadows. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Ernest. I'm not here, by the way. Um. Can you go away, Ernest? Thank. You. Ernest. Uh. I thought I heard. You didn't, Ernest. You heard nothing. All right, Ernest, come with me. Well, we don't have to worry about Ernie here. <clears throat> Jerk. There's never an excuse for slacking. Oh, 
him. He's going to be a problem. Ernest took all your money. I saw him. He ran off that away. Top sweet. What the hell is this? The this is weird. Hmm. Uh -oh. oh no. Huh? What was that? Oh my god. Oh, this is weird. Oh, damn it. All right, I want to see if there's anything over there. I did not mean to turn on my light. Ooh, staff only? That means I want to go in there. How you doing, not Ernie? I'm just going to call him the Nottery. All right, we found the broom closet. Staff notice. Fur tag November 7th. Fur tag? Okay. Suite one was left in a disgusting state after last night's guest, so ensure everything is cleaned thoroughly for tonight's guest. We have a very wealthy noble couple staying with us, so we need to leave a good impression. The light in front of Suite 2 is still broken. It just doesn't seem to be getting any steady flow of gas. Recently, there have been a lot of noises coming from the vents. I believe it's those damn vermin. Someone get up there with a bottle of poison and get rid of them once and for all. Ah, the, the smell of wafting poison and dead rodent. It's just sublime when you come to a bathhouse. Just sublime. This looks quite valuable. I wonder if there are any more lying around. What? See if you can find any more red opals. I mean, I planned on it. Okay. I don't know how he heard me. I guess he heard me through the vents. Hmm. Hi. How are you? What the? Gotta be something to water, right? Ooh, he's very nice and deep, but nothing in here. Now the design in this mission is just really good. Hmm. Crap! Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay, well. What the? What the? What was that? It was earnest, I tell you. It was earnest. You can move along, thank you. Shit, hurry up. Okay. Is this the Lord himself? I don't know. We'll have to find out next time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boylag, signing off. Break, break, break. Bad man. Oh, you can oh, go! Uh. Close the damn door, please. Oh, God. Scared the crap out of me! Wasn't expecting that! Come in! I mean, don't come in! <laughs>